Hey guys, welcome back to Max Electronics. In today's video, we're going to be fixing this Chave Intimidator Spot LED 250. So it is from a nightclub that I work at. It's got a problem, there is no light. So it works, it turns and does everything it's supposed to, but there is no light output. So we will be looking whether it's LED that needs to be replacing or it's LED driver that needs to be fixed. So the interesting thing about this one, when you want to change your gobo or clean it, there is, there is a little panel here that can open up, just like that, and you have all your gobos accessible right here. Well, that's a color wheel that I'm touching, it needs, needs to be cleaned, it is filthy dirty. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's got tons of dust. And here is a gobo wheel, so you can actually put your own gobos in without opening the, um, the whole light. And it's continuous rotation as well, so is with a color wheel, which is always nice to see because you hate to put, you know, in the color scroll when they're slowly turning and then it reaches the end and then it travels backwards quickly and starts over again. I hate that. But um, this one's continuous, so that's good. Let's see what's inside and clean it as well while we're at it because it is very dirty. I probably can see all the dust in there now on the, on the uh, dichroic glass. So I can show you, I can plug it in right now and you'll see that it doesn't work. Alright, so it's in a DMX mode at the moment, but if I go to... There you go, so... No light. So there we go. Let's unplug it and open it up. I'll probably start with this part here. Here comes the lead, and we've got typical arrangement. Um, here, so we've got the gobo wheel, uh, the color wheel, the LED, no shutter, but there is a prism in there. So if we remove this, let's see. Oh, they made it so you can't fully unscrew it. Or maybe you can. Yeah, there we go. So there is a prism in there, but it's not rotating prism. It's just the sliding in, as you can see. All right, so let's uh, pull it apart and um, see what's happening with the LED light. See if there's any voltage. Well, we'll test the light with the LED tester and see if LED is working. So I think I'll have to take the second half. So let me pull it apart and clean some of the lenses. And we'll check the LED. Okay, so I have uh, taken the back off and cleaned the fan as you can see. I've taken the LED off and it literally just fell out of here, so uh, there is the LED. Uh, now let's uh, see, maybe it was a bad connection, because seriously, as soon as I unscrewed it, it just fell off the board. And it looks like someone's already been in here, I don't know, maybe it's a factory, but it looks like a lot of flux and quite messed up. So let's uh, try powering it on. I'm going to get the moving head down from the table because, uh, well, by the way, that's what it looks like if you're interested uh, without the back. So we just got lens assembly. Um, I've cleaned all the lenses in there. So we don't need this for now. 
This is the back, so the back's got the fan in it, it's got the thermal switch just sitting here in a TO220 package. It is hard to see, but it's right there. And we've got the LED with the four wires and it's usually 24 volts. So uh, it does have markings on there. Maybe I should just clean a little bit um, of that old flux just to see the markings. It says it's LED engine something, so I'm going to zoom in for you. Here it is. Um, as you can see, they those uh, four pins they actually shot it, so the LED is working in two halves, half and half. So I'm going to see if I can get that flux cleaned up a little bit. It's got two capacitors on board here. So we've got one negative and one positive, so that's the one positive. And that would be one negative, probably. I guess so. And that's two and two positive. All right, so I've got 24 volts here. Let's test it out. So two positive and negative. Let's see if it lights up. nothing so we can also go by here and here nothing nothing and nothing okay so the LED is definitely dead so I guess we have to order new LED so it's LED engine incorporated I am a good 24 volts for sure so um I'm going to order new LEDs and I will be right back with a new LED. So the new LED has arrived and no, that's not new. That's still the old one. Unfortunately, I could not get the direct replacement for this one. It's LED engine, 72 watts, I believe, uh, or 75 watts, um, 24 volts. They are obsolete. Even the uh, Chavez themselves don't have that in their spare part department. So you can buy any other spare part for this light except the LED. So I found the closest other thing, which is matching with the parameters. It's uh, same, 72 watts, I think it is, 3 amps, 24 volts. Um, and uh, the lens, it, the, the LEDs, it's a slightly larger diameter ways. Uh, but the it's the same amount of LEDs, roughly. It's 4 by 4 except it's got a couple more in the corners and the lens is the same uh, so it looks very similar except it's smaller in size so I have to watch it uh, and also it's got two capacitors here which is uh, technically it's one it's just divided so if you join those together with the, those two jumpers it's pretty much half of LED so this half of LED is for those two contacts and that cap and this half of LED is for the, this cap and those two contacts but on the board which is this one they are joined together anyway so as you can see that's the two um, and one and that's two and one and they join together literally uh, you can actually see it here so what I'm going to do I'm going to fit that LED in there and I'm going to add the capacitor which is uh, 15 picofarad together so it's 30 picofarad uh, 15 picofarad each but it's 30 picofarad together uh, so I'm going to add this uh, I'm not sure probably on LED itself as well it should be long enough just to reach between two pins and then I'm going to jump the wires from those connections onto the LED I have already pre-drilled the holes for that LED so that should fit in here snugly uh, if I remember which way I think it's that way there we go and I'm going to screw that in that will go on top screw that in add thermal paste underneath of course and just jump the wires and jump the uh, probably add the capacitor right here uh, the power wires go across here and that's that so that should be good all right well let's start by adding the LED uh, well actually add a lot of thermal paste I think that's that's there it is uh, so a generous amount Well, that should be plenty quite a group there and make sure that it's 
correct polarity so we got uh, two and one so both minuses are on top and both positives are down the bottom so the negatives are at the top that would be this way yep and we'll squash that in there we go put the screws in so I'm going to put the oh, screwdriver is too big I'm going to put a little insulator on the screw that is going to be between the positive and negative the center one which is this one just to make sure and the other two doesn't need it because those are two negatives and those are two positives anyway but they the screws is I'm just putting it as a safety margin in reality those screws don't even reach the contacts and nowhere near it that's it so that's sitting there perfect let's see what it's going to look like with this on yeah that works so we'll screw that in as well and then we'll just join with the jumpers across here I'll put a cap right in here actually no I'll put it right on the oh, I don't know I'll put it right here so contacts here caps here so uh, let me find the rest of the screws screw that in add that little cap here and uh, we will assemble it and see if it works the new LED has been added so let's uh, get this and uh, install that into the actual light and power it up see if it turns on the rest of the light have been, has been cleaned all the optics inside so that's all good to go let's uh, let me just put this back plate and connect it all onto here oh, which way this way yep that's the one and then we will power it up so I'll be right back after I screw this on all right um, I have installed it I promise you I haven't plugged it in yet so there it is in there I don't know if we can see it mm. I can probably just see there but anyway, uh, the LED is installed. So let's plug it in. And fingers crossed it's not going to blow up. There we go. Oh, I saw a flash. So let's wait for it to home. Oh, it works. Yay the light has been fixed definitely works focus it yep don't know if you can see that but yeah so the LED definitely works it is bright like it's supposed to be um, it's sound activated at the moment I'm not seeing any changes in gobos though or color uh, the motors are holding so I guess I'm gonna plug DMX and oh there we go it changed the gobo yep it works just fine so if you do have a Chave uh, light, which is the model is um, Intimidator Spot LED 250 and you have a failed LED, the LED you want to buy will be 4x4 kind of say pixels or whatever those things inside there are called, well chips I guess, so it'll be 4x4 chips. Uh, the rating would be, I'm pretty sure it says 3 amps, 72 watts, 24 volts. So that would be, and obviously to have a lens on it, and that would be the um, the chip that would work as a replacement. You just have to drill three holes and screw it in and solder it and put a um, 33, I think it is, picofarad cap across. I've put one kilovolt. <laughs> it's an overkill, obviously. It's not going to have one kilovolt across it, but um, it works. Uh, now, it's not getting hot or warm, so that's a good sign. 
and that's it I'm gonna let it run for a bit I'm gonna assemble it and let it run just to make sure that it doesn't get too hot and you know that everything is okay and that's gonna go back to the club back up up on the lighting rig so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, there will be more videos coming out soon and I will see you next time my name is Max bye